Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111, and welcome back to Hero's Spirit. This person has a lot to say. I don't really know what to say. Go talk to someone else for a while. Oh, it's you. Hi. Have you been to the castle? Oh, are you talking to me? Do you think I'm pretty? I don't really know what to say. Go talk to someone else for a while. Thought I've seen another one. But maybe that's it. I spent a bit of time since the last episode walking around the tundra, trying to figure out um, what to do with the kitty cat. And while I've been doing that, I have managed to uncover uh, a few bits along the way. And so I want to go and start off with those. So starting from the portal, uh, not here. Slightly down from here. The northern mountains are hard to traverse. There's a kitty cat. Um, a skeleton key. That would solve all my problems. This is the locksmith girl. Two silver doors remain. You can do this. Four gold doors remain. Keep up the good work. Um, there is a door to unlock that's not far from here. Um, but let's see. From the portal. There's a gold silver door just north and in a room to the left. Okay, so from the portal, north and left. So it must be right over here, yeah. So is it down here? No, that's that one. Is it up here? Meow, 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 said the kitty. Aha, here's the silver door. That skeleton key opens most doors, but there are some it won't open. I wonder if that's the blue and red doors, I'm guessing. Here's a gold key. You've been to the cursed ship. What did you find? I found treasures. And are those the only two doors? I think those are the only two doors uh, that I found that I get to unlock in this particular area. So I guess that means there's only one silver door left in the world. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. There's also a treasure box. Uh, if I go north from the portal and through this little hole in the wall right here and then around the corner to the left there is a treasure box that I have not previously found. It's right over here. So let's pick it up. Um, I think it's right over here. <laughs> treasure box, where are you? I found you once before. Um... Maybe it's further down. It might be further down. There it is. Hooray! Um, okay, so I got that treasure box. That's great. And then finally there's a pea coin that I can get to from the lake up here. And so I have to go left a bit and up a bit. And it was a place where we could see you walking across the water before. That's... Uh, Scar Mouth Lake or whatever it's called. But over here... Yes. This is not the correct spot, but there's another spot right here that I had not previously gone. And it brings me to a secret entrance in the mountains that brings me to a bee coin that I guess I had previously seen and forgotten about. Um, so, I still haven't figured out, other than the fact that there's a teleport in the Cave of Wonder, what to do about the Cave of Wonder, and it occurs to me that maybe bringing the cat there would be good. I've managed to lose the cat as a result of walking across passages that the cat couldn't go to, um, so I'm going to try to pick up the cat and bring it to the Cave of Wonder in case anything happens by doing that. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Oh, there's a portal coin here. Okay, apparently, and a treasure box. Apparently I'd never been through that little section which makes me want to press against all of its walls. All right, undoubtedly it's the case that the glasses that are letting me see better are kind of helping me find a number of these things. So the Cave of Wonder is somewhere up here. It's past an NPC dude who says, I think something about the Smuggler's Eye, actually. Um, did I miss him? I don't remember if the Cave of Wonder was this far up. Cave of Wonder, where are you?
All right, here's the dude. Seek out the guy, rest in the smoker's road, and here's the Cave of Wonder. So, Cave of Wonder. Kitty cats? Do you do anything interesting here in the Cave of Wonder? Other than make me wonder? <laughs> um, it doesn't appear so. There's still this teleport. I can teleport back and the kitty's still here. And I guess the kitty tries to take a shortest path and like find me because if I teleport away and I walk over here, I guess I'm gonna encounter the kitty along the way. And so, is the old man right up here? I hear the kitty meowing, so it must be on the other side of these mountains. So I'm already kind of getting myself lost. What a surprise. This is a very easy place to get lost in. Um, I think that's where I just found some extra loot. Kitty cat. There's the kitty cat. Okay, so the kitty had managed to find its way down into this little dead end when it was trying to get close to me. So I think the kitty, unlike a number of other monsters and things, will try to find me kind of from anywhere in the world and move towards me, but is prone to getting stuck in dead ends. Um, yeah, so I don't know what the purpose of the kitty is yet. <laughs> and I haven't been able to come up with one. All right, let me check my list of things to do. Okay, one of the few remaining mysteries is there's definitely an exit in the Haunted Mans that I haven't gotten to yet. And I have to find out if there's a gold sword somewhere in this place. Um, because I think I would need it. And so let's look carefully all around and see if we can find a gold sword anywhere. Hey, there's a peak coin that I didn't find. There is definitely a landmass in the upper left that I have not been to, and my water walking boots are not taking me there. So there must be another teleport is all I can figure. And so it feels like going some other way into the mansion, or maybe it's through the mansion. It's probably through the mansion. So yeah, I guess let's save here and let's go back into the Haunted Man's and see if we can find something we haven't found before. So I don't have a gold sword, so I'm gonna have to deal with that. But level 85 I can deal with. And so, but the ghosts like this, are you the one who doesn't move? You're the one who doesn't move. So I would need a gold sword to get through you. You're very near the start. It's possible there's a gold sword in here somewhere that I didn't find. So let's start with that hypothesis and just see if we can find um, a gold sword inside this place. All right, there's another single ghost over here too. That's also unmoving. So maybe there's a center area that I need to get to through the ghost from either side, maybe. I also realize that occasionally some of my inputs when I'm pressing up against walls were getting eaten. Are we oh, I'm here! We did it! I'm a genius. Okay, uh, let's find out where this brings us. Please be the Smuggler's Ruin Ancient Tomb. Uh, haunted Bands, alright. Really? It just brought us back out here? And now we're back on this side. Okay, so that's telling me... What is that telling me? Feels like we do need a gold sword. How do I get a gold sword all the way in here? I mean, I guess I could import it from another zone. So, do not interact with any bad guys. Is that even possible? Because there's this level 85 guy somewhere near the start? Yeah, who's coming towards me. So I would have to know the path perfectly or something? Yeah, and I just killed him. I guess I could have killed the ghost before that happened, though. Right, okay. So, in that case, I want to exit the game.
restart from my last save, where I still have the gold sword, and I can make it all the way to that first ghost without interacting with the level 85 guy who's changing me, chasing me. Okay, so from here, we do our little dance. Uh, which was not the correct dance, I just realized. <laughs> just did this. I need to go down here, then here, and then that brings us in. Okay, so, most guys are running from me. Uh, where is it? It's here. There's a level 85 guy. I need you to go a different way. Uh, that's not bad, actually. Oh, no, it is. There we go. Now you're behind me. So then I can go up here and kill this ghost. I killed the level 85 guy, but I killed the ghost. But the ghost was not actually blocking something here. Huh. Let me try to find my way back out to the other exit one more time. This is so confusing. Okay, so there is another ghost here, and I don't have a gold sword for you anymore. And I have to kill a bunch of monsters in order to get here. But this did bring me over here to the other side. The bunny rabbit's still chasing us and can't do anything about it. There aren't any other secret walls to press against over here. And this just brings me right back out to where I started. That was my last really good clue of something to do. So I'm in trouble now. Hey, there's a portal coin. I just happened to be walking around the tundra and discovered that. Hey, I found a gold door in the Molten Cavern that leads to a diamond. All right, so that's a place I haven't been before. That's at least some type of progress. I'm just kind of wandering around the whole map. Hey, here's another gold door that leads to another diamond. Neat. Here's a pea coin. All right. And here's another pea coin. Great. Okay, that was a very hidden passage. Aha! There's another pea coin. I'm up to 74. If I can get one more, I'll still be 50 away. So I need 125, don't I? Darn. <laughs> hey, there's another pea coin. Nice. Those glasses sure look useful. You can see the monsters coming. I don't know that I've ever seen that text before. It's always nice to see something a little bit new. Yet, yeah, re-talking to NPCs might be the most profitable strategy for me finding some clues. This is the person who told me about the blue key and then said, you remind me of someone I know? Yeah, you remember it reminded me of someone I used to know. Ah. <sighs> The food person has something new to say. I'm heading to the other world. I want to see how fairies taste. Maybe it is every time I am a higher level, like my sword level increases past the level of a new enemy, this person describes what it would be like to eat that enemy. <laughs> I think that might be what I'm observing. Um, I thought the water walking boots kicked in somewhere over here. There were some little islands over here that I didn't get back to when I was just retraversing this area right now. Uh, like that island right over there, which probably had a coin on it that I've already gotten somehow. Um, but I just want to rewalk here. Eh, there's an island to the south of me. I mean, it might just mean nothing. Oh, uh, I probably did a long dance around here to get there. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Okay, I, like I said, I'm just rewalking the world to try to get everywhere because I'm not sure what to do at this point. <laughs> I get, hmm. I could go back into the end game and see what's different. That is one possibility that just occurred to me. Um, 
but I still need a lot of treasure boxes in order to get a new prize from the dragon. I'm not sure what that would be. What items do I know still exist? There's still two outstanding green gems somewhere in the world that I have yet to find. Um, and what else is missing that I know of? Obviously the smuggler's eye. There's the other world portal here, by the way. Um, there's the kitty cat that we don't know what purpose it fulfills. Just since I happen to be here, the uh, dust cavern, and also here in the tunnels, the compass uh, just goes around in circles um, to show that there aren't any save crystals in that area. Someone said that using the compass you could, uh, you know, find new places or something. This was just a dead end that had a P-coin that I picked up once upon a time. I just wanted to double check it since I'm here. Um, but yeah, I was wondering if maybe I could use the compass to try to direct me somewhere. I'm fairly certain that this won't yield any useful fruit, but I haven't tried taking a gold sword into the arena so that I could defeat at least one segment of the snake and see if possibly either that kills the whole thing or I can see a little bit deeper in. Much more likely is I just need to try to locate two more swords so that I can actually defeat the guy in here. But we might as well take a deeper look because we only kind of glanced in here and I immediately ran away. So the arena, there's the crazy snake. Let's just let him chase me. Actually, hmm, with my boots, I can actually outrun him a bit. And it does seem like he's maybe confined to the tunnels in here. So maybe I can use that to my advantage and actually explore quite a bit. I might have been too scared off by his high level originally. Oh, he turns fiery when he goes across the fire, it looks like. And this appears to be a giant maze of sorts. Oh, with another... This is another unlucky thing. Okay, that's interesting. And I hear sounds. I'm not sure if that's just... Oh, there's gold sword. <gasps> there's gold swords in here. Which means I might be able to defeat him bit by bit. Okay. So. There's one segment down. And I stunned you because of the shield, maybe? Hey, gold sword, do you want to hurry up and come back? Yes, great. Okay, so now how long is he? He's only like 10 or 20 segments. Can I just get him to follow me around here in a circle and defeat him with the same gold sword over and over again? If I could, that'd be great. Okay, there's another segment down. How many segments does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like eight. Uh, this seems plausible, so let me try this for a little bit. Alright, so he's down to two segments. Let's not screw this up. Uh, this will kill one of them. Alright, and so his final segment. Just need to bring him around in a loop once more. And then I should be able to go kill him. And... <laughs> he makes a big sound for having blown him up. So now maybe I can... I wonder if that unlocked the door. Let's go try checking that first, assuming I can find my way back over to it. Oh, I found a secret wall. The door was over here. It did not unlock. It's called the vault when I stand in front of it. So there's a vault in here. All right. I wonder if there's going to be more than one worm. And let's see, he was level 99, so even if I was like level 49, a gold sword... Oh, there's B coins in here. That's nice. Um, at level 49, like... Oh, uh, I see another one. So there's more than one, or he respawns. Alright, another P coin. That's nice anyway. Um, I mean, I guess I've done it once, and so... How many segments do you have? You had like eight or nine segments last time. Let's presume this one's gonna be similar. 
And I guess I'll go ahead and spend the time to try killing him again, now that I know what I'm doing. Alright, here's the final one. Oh, I got an achievement! One snake, two snake. Maybe the red snake and the blue snake were two different snakes. It wasn't that the one snake crossed the lava. It was that they were two distinct entities, and the sound has changed, which makes me think that perhaps I have unlocked the vault. So let's definitely go check that out if I can. Which would be down on the south side, but not all the way in the corner. So right over here. I did! So I'm in the vault. <gasps> I can kill ghosts now. <laughs> Okay, I'm so glad I decided to come here, and so glad that I decided to come here before checking, like, 70,000 other things that I could have potentially checked. Um, okay, before I leave here, I'm gonna waltz about a bit and see if I can spot any pea coins. Although, mm, no, I think the Smuggler's Eye... It, there was definitely a hint that I was going to be able to see treasures even if I couldn't see them. Uh, that I was going to get some kind of collector helper thingy that would help me locate all the remaining treasures. So rather than just wander about aimlessly in here for another 10 minutes, um, I think let's exit out of here with our newfound super sword power. And save this progress and then go back to the smuggler's cove, kill two ghosts, and hope that allows us to get the eye. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this. So I think the easiest way to get back to the Smuggler's Ruin is through the unlit tunnels, and did I just pass it? No, but it's right over here. Yeah, this guy who talks about the glasses. Uh, you know what, since he's changed text, let's see if he says anything about my sword. He does not. Okay, so there is a shop up here, and I want to not go in the shop and instead sidestep it, and then this will bring us uh, eventually to Smuggler's Ruin. And so then from here, I need to go... Uh, there's a save crystal here, and just since I'm here, let's go ahead and save. I need to go through the teleport path that brings me up to the wooded area. And then I need to go through the teleport path in the wooded area that brings me back down by the ghost. And then I need to kill two ghosts. Oh, and then I'll be able to kill the ghosts in the haunted manse, too. Okay, but there's two ghosts here, and this leads us to the bottom of the smuggler area now. Oh! My blue sword went away. Hold on. I thought I was going to have infinite super sword powers, and I don't. So here's what I'm going to do. Since I did just save, I'm going to exit to the menu, restart the game, and pay closer attention. Maybe I need a gold sword and the blue sword? Maybe the blue sword and the gold sword stack? Do I still have my blue sword here? I do. I guess that's my next guess, and so let's check if I can stack a gold sword with it because I'm not sure what else to try right now, because it seemed to go away when I killed the... Um, killed the ghost, and that's no good skis. Um, where is the... here's the secret. Okay, I'll go back and pick up a gold sword, and I'll be right back. Okay, can I cannot stack a gold sword with my blue sword. So I don't know what the blue sword does. Let's, since I have a save, let's witness it just killing normal enemies, like a skeleton. Hi, skeleton. It did bring me back down to 97. So I picked up a blue sword. And then once I killed a single... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, does it respawn after a certain amount of time? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's like the gold sword. So let's watch. Okay, so I kill an enemy, gold sword goes away, it blinks for a few seconds, and then it comes back. Got it? Okay, now I understand. Um, so I can do exactly what I was originally intending to do and kill both of the ghosts in the smuggler's ruin. I just have to walk a number of steps in between. Uh, this is the shop I didn't want to go in. Here's a secret passage beside the shop that I did want to go in. And I take it over here. And here is the path into the smuggler's ruin. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm learning things. Sometimes it takes a little bit more time than it should, perhaps, but we're doing it. Okay, this is that was a mechanic that I did not expect. I just thought I was going to have infinite attack power forever. And it turns out that it takes a little bit of time to build up infinite attack power. So I kill this guy, and then I walk back and forth until it recharges. And then I kill this guy, and now it's time for the big money. Okay, so we were able to kind of like see the outside of this place before. Sure enough, I can walk up here, we're going to get the eye. Whoa! A lost route. It teleported us to somewhere different but the same, or all the lava went away. No, I think it teleported us to a new location. Uh, I presume I can't walk back there, but let's just find out really quick. This might have been a point of no return of sorts. A lost route. Just in case my water walking is going to come into play, I should kind of use water walking along the edges. There's an exit over here. Before I take it, yeah, there's a lot of exits. Is the game much bigger than I thought? <laughs> I'm okay with that, but at the same time, I was also kind of looking forward to cruising into an end game. So are there just like symmetric exits? Yes. This one's a different color. I see, that just brought me, okay, but now it takes me to Lost Route. So where does this take me? Item Shop Secret Passage. So I think it just transformed this area and all of the same entrances and exits that previously existed in this area still exist. However, now it's just become more connected. And I'm just gonna verify it by stepping into all the different positions. But these were all places that connected to the smuggler's uh, place in the first place. So the eye perhaps has made things, certain things easier to see. So where do I want to go back to now, then? Uh, also, the save crystal's still here, and I'm pretty happy with all that. So go ahead and save that. And... Which place makes sense to go back to? I'm curious to see, now that I have the eye, if we just go back to somewhere like the Southern Swamp, or some simple-ish kind of place that I've been to many times. Um if I notice any changes in the world. Um, I don't see that like I'm seeing more and I don't know, hmm. I presume it might see treasures that I haven't been able to see before. Maybe, okay, let's go back to the sanctuary where there's that one P coin that I could never get and see if it somehow shows me a route to get that P coin or if I can see the P coin from a longer distance away or try to understand the meat. Oh, what is that? There's a treasure here. It does, it shows you the locations of the treasures even if they're not visible. And so here was a P coin that I was unable to see because it was hidden away in darkness. You know, I just revisited this place a minute ago and tried pressing against some of these walls and somehow missed that one. And so if you can see it, it doesn't look any different. Um, and it doesn't show- oh, but there's a way that I can block it out so that it shows that it's there. But I still don't know how to get to there. But this will make it much more possible to see. Yeah, and this P coin might deliberately be here, just so you have a way to demonstrate the power of the smuggler's eye, I could imagine. Um, okay. I have the smuggler's eye, it's gonna show me my destiny. That suggests to me that something that would happen back at the castle grounds. Um, right, and I've got superpower against the ghosts now. It just takes how many steps to recharge? A lot. What would a dragon do with all that treasure anyway? That's a great question that I don't think I've heard before. It takes like 15 seconds or something for this to recharge. Let's just wait for a second. All right, and then kill you off. Okay, well this will make it much easier for me to continue to explore the castle grounds again because of the fact that I've got this recharging super sword, uh, which means I don't have to be nearly as afraid of the ghosts. I just have to outrun them for a few seconds, then I'll be safe. Um, yeah, okay. And there was still a sword missing in this section, as I recall. 
And so maybe I'll eventually be able to find that. Even using it on a normal enemy does cause the sword to kind of like spin up its recharge timer again. So I do need to take that into play. The hammer doesn't use it though. Okay. I wonder if this would change the nature of the final battle. I didn't bring any of my other inventory into the final battle though. So I'm not so certain about that. There was a ghost ghost in this hallway, I think. Or I guess it spawned from somewhere else. Hey, ghosts. Yeah, we've seen that. Definitely. Yeah, and I've talked to you before as well. This will also give me a chance to talk to the ghosts with much less fear, just to make sure I've heard all of their ghosty messages that they speak. Oops. <laughs> that one I might have killed a little too quickly. Where I got a chance to read its ghosty message. I like this little boop. It's a happy noise when my sword recharges. So that makes me happy. Uh, I killed. Okay, so I have to walk next to him carefully if I want to hear what he's going to say. He or she. Her influence over this beast has limits. Yeah, I think I've read all of these at this point because I've been able to review videos and see a bunch of them. The witch will not be expecting you to win. Take her by surprise. Yep, we've seen that one. And I got a sword in here recently, so that was one of the places that there was still a sword hiding. And that one I didn't get a chance to reread just now, but it's fine. Um, it looks like there's possible water walking road over there, but there's not. Uh, this will make it easier to explore all the roads around the castle, I suppose. Remember sponsors? I'll survive this night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's the stopwatch in here, which we've seen before. And I can walk across here, and I... Hmm, I'm gonna have to kill you right now. There's the escape tunnel over there. But now that I've got my supercharging sword... Yeah, I think it's only these little squares over here. What did you say? What happened to the castle? There's monsters everywhere. Oh! Guess what? There was a secret in here that I have not found. It is down there. So how do I get down there? I don't remember. I think at some point I pressed against all of these walls. That's inside the castle portion of the castle. I'm still on the castle map. So there is a secret to the south of me, so maybe it's against the uh, west wall that I need to press in over here. And this thing is moving around, which makes me think that there's a whole stash of treasures in there. Interesting. Also, there's a way across over here. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. It's another dancey kind of place. Press against all the walls until you find the secrets. This is definitely something that you'd either have to be extremely diligent in order to find on your own, or have the smuggler's eye to help direct you there. Um, I'm going to assume that this is just a... well, that's a bad assumption. <laughs> that it wasn't going to have any twists or turns, but it does have twists and turns, so I need to try twisting and turning. Okay. Um, it's three treasure boxes. Neat. Okay, I saw that there were three of them. And then I saw another treasure somewhere else over here. So let me go try to find that. Was there a teleport there? Maybe not. I don't have enough... Since I'm inside of walls, I don't have hardly any visibility at all. But yeah, that was not... Hmm. I think there are teleports in here, or some of my little purple swirlies disappeared. Because they seem to be changing. But I thought I saw another blue swirly from the smuggler's eye at some point when I was down toward the bottom right. So I just want to try to be a little bit more diligent and see if I can find that. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so I see it on the screen. How might I get down there? Perhaps... Perhaps I'll go off camera as I try to do this, because this is a little bit fiddly, and I don't know that it's fun to watch. Oh, there's a save crystal and a secret entrance over here. So perhaps what I was seeing was in here. There's definitely something in here. Spider webs. 
And spiders, of course. Why not? <gasps> it's the sword! 98. And a key. Um. Alright, and it looks like there's more to explore. But where is the exploration? <laughs> okay, there is much more to this castle than I originally realized. And that's great. Um... Maybe I need to find another entrance to get there. Once again, let me press against all the walls on my own. Okay, I didn't find anything else in that section. So let's try other parts of the castle that I might not have pressed against before. Oh! It's dangerous to go alone! Take this! Free sword! Secret room! Neat! I got an achievement. Walking armory. All right, so I think that means I've gotten all 99 swords. That definitely tells me that I've got to be getting toward the end game, right? I got an achievement for it. That's a good thing. Seems like most of the achievements in this game are very uh, stacked up very late. So that was just right here in the corner of the castle. And apparently I could only go there once, perhaps? Yeah, and I already killed this ghost once. Okay, so there's another secret shop over here, maybe? Uh, nope, just another secret way to get in there, I guess. Um, so if I found those, it would have been hard to find those swords without the eye. It would have been hard, impossible to get the eye without killing the snake. I was thinking being level 99 would have made it easier to kill the snake, but... Uh, right, I've seen that guy before. <gasps> oh, I don't know that I've been in here, though. And level 99 is plenty to kill you, slime. Oh, wow, this is kind of like the haunted maze, only different. Okay. And, oh, there's a gold sword here. Which goes away when my auto charge up thing auto charges up. Interesting. Uh, I still haven't figured out how to get there. Yeah, once again, okay, it's a peak coin. What an interesting mechanic. Oh, and now there's a secret exit out. Oh, did it open up the, hmm. Oh, wow, then that just disappeared. Fascinating. Okay, I presume that was all I needed to do there then. Just in case it's not, I'm gonna walk back through because I didn't try pressing against all the walls. Although I'd be able to see if there were any other secret loot around here because of my handy dandy smuggler eye. Okay, so that was just like a one-time wall and then it just closes up behind me. Okay, so we haven't seen that type of mechanic before, but it is a thing. All right. Um, right, I need to press against all the walls over here as well, just to be super sure. Although I might have done this when I was originally looking for the backside of the castle. So I'm not sure that there would be anything up here. Well, I have a feeling now that I have gained all the swords in this area. Or if I haven't, that would also be interesting because it would mean there are more than 99. Um, let me go ahead and save my progress while I'm thinking about it. Uh, which would be interesting to know, because I was speculating that there could be more resources than you need. But I think this tells me you found every sword that you can gain here. Okay, so it's possible that I've gained them all as well. Um, all right. I have no idea where I am in an episode, so let me check my recording and regroup. All right, that ended up being like the perfect episode length. I think next time I want to try killing the extra ghost in the haunted manse, as well as the green bunny rabbits. And obviously there's still lots of places we can go exploring for the eye, but I'm gonna have to review my notes once again, and we need to figure out a purpose for the kitty cat. I'm not sure how much is left, but I only have 4 or 15 achievements, so there's obviously more to find. Um, but you can look forward to that next time. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.